Hello everyone, today we are going to see inverse of a matrix by using Kelly Hamilton theorem. Here we have given matrix A of order 3 by 3. So here we have to find A inverse. So for this we should check whether inverse of this matrix exists or not. For this we have to find determinant of this matrix. So we will find this determinant A here. So what is the determinant for this matrix? We know how to find this is here. Yes, so we got here determinant of this matrix is equals to here 6 and that is here not equals to 0. That means matrix A is here non-singular, right? So that means what does this implies? That means A inverse exists here, right? So now we can find inverse of this matrix. So, for finding A inverse by using this Kelly-Hamilton theorem, we will find first characteristic equation and we know what is characteristic equation for this matrix of order 3 by 3. So, this is here. Characteristic equation is given by this is lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 is equals to 0. We know what is S1, S2, S3 here. So here what is S1? S1 is sum of diagonal elements. So we will write here all these diagonal elements and its sum is here we get 6. What is S2? S2 is sum of minors of diagonal element. So we will write diagonal elements minors. Okay, so minor of 2 here. Yes, this is we will write 1 by 1 minor. Yes, now we have to simplify this is here. Okay, so here we have find S2, S2 here we get this is 11. And now we have find S3. S3 is here. This is determinant. So which we have find here earlier. What is here? This is we get here. S3 is equals to 6. Now we have to put all these values in the general form of this characteristic equation. So we will put all these values here. So we get this is here lambda cube minus this is 6 lambda square plus S2 is here L1 lambda minus S3. S3 is here 6. So this is the characteristic equation for this given matrix. So we got here characteristic equation. Now we have to write by Kelly Hamilton theorem. So we know what is the statement of Kelly Hamilton theorem. This theorem states that every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. So by using this characteristic equation what we have to write? We have to replace this lambda is equals to this matrix A. So we get here this equation in the form of matrix. So here we have this is identity matrix of order 3 by 3. So we have written this is here by using Kelly Hamilton theorem. Now to find A inverse. So what we have to do? We will multiply. We will so to find A inverse we will pre multiply this by A inverse to this equation, right? So, we will get here, this is A inverse into A cube So, we have pre-multiply this equation by this is A inverse So, we will split up this A cube here this is as a, a into a square. Similarly, 
this a square as a a into a. Now, yes, here we have this is a here. So, this is 11 a inverse into a minus 6 a inverse into r. Yes, so we know this results here when we have this is a inverse into a, this is equals to identity matrix. Similarly, when we multiply any matrix by identity matrix, we get here this original matrix A, right? So, by using all these results, we have to write here, this is here, identity matrix. Similarly, here we have identity matrix into this matrix A plus this is again here we have this is identity matrix and here this is we have this a inverse into i means here we have this is a inverse right so we get here equals to 0 now here we have this is a square minus again this is here 6 a plus 11 i minus 6 a inverse now to find a inverse we will shift here so we get this is here a square minus 6a plus 11i so we get here this is a inverse is equals to this is 1 by 6 into a square minus 6a plus 11i yes so by using this result we have to find a inverse how we have find this here this formula this result by using this Kelly Hamilton theorem statement so for this we need here a square so we will find here a square so what is a square now so this here a square this is a into a so we will write matrix a here which is given by this one yes now we have to do the multiplication for this two matrix we know how to find the multiplication for this one here so we will write here this is we know how to do the multiplication this is by row of first matrix to the column of the second matrix so we will write here this is on simplification we get here this is 5 0 this is minus 4 here we get 0, 4, 0. In third row we have this minus 4, 0, 5. So we get this is here a square. So we got this is here a square. So now what we have to do, we have to put all these values in this a inverse to find required a inverse. So we will put here this a square. So, what is a square here? So, we get here. So, what is a square? Which we have find here. So, 5, 0, minus 4, 0, 4, 0, minus 4, 0, 5. Next, we have to write given matrix A. So, which is given by? Now, I is identity matrix of order 3 by 3. Yes, so now we have to do the simplification. So, what we will do here? Here we will multiply this second matrix. This is by minus 6 and this is by plus 11 here. This identity matrix by plus 11. So, first matrix this is as it is. Now, this 11 to this matrix. Yes, now we will do the simplification this here of all these three matrices we will do the addition of this three matrix here so what is here addition is here element to element addition so what is here this is 5 minus 12 plus 11 next here we have this is in the same manner we have to do all this addition yes so, on simplification, we get here, this is minus 12 plus 11, this is we get minus 1, 5 minus 1, we get 4 here, 
here zero here we get two here we have zero here we have this is three zero this is two zero and here again we have this is four so this is the required inverse for the given matrix a here so this is the required inverse by using kelly hamilton theorem thank you